Okay guys, so in this episode of learning Rust with Exorcism, I had the challenge to reverse a string. And this challenge seems to be pretty straightforward. All I'm supposed to do is basically to, well, rever take cool and output lock or like just reverse a string basically. And here are the tests and as you can see I've managed to actually get them all to be to pass. So let's look at my implementation. So the reverse function takes an input of a well a string type or basically a string pointer, a string value, and I'm supposed to return a new string. So the way that I solved was that I looked through a little bit of the documentation on Rust's documentation page and I found that you can convert a which was kind of what I was looking for, if I'm honest. I was looking for something that allowed me to convert a string into a sequence of characters, and then I figured that there would be some type of collect, like a sorting function or something. First I started looking at, there's actually a sort function, but then I found this handy little fella here, which is just a reverse, which reverses the, like what chars will do is that it will return an iterator, and reverse will switch the way that the iterator is going to move across the collection. So basically it's going to, in, in standard mode, it's gonna go from left to right, but with reverse, it's gonna go from right to left. And then I used the collect function, which was really handy. I had to read up on that. But basically what collect is that it's going to collect like the, the iterable, like consume it basically and return a collection of whatever is appropriate. So in this scenario, I have a reversed, like uh, a, a, an array of, actually, now that I think about it, could I do this? Let's try that. Yeah, I can. How cool is that? You may not uh, you may not understand what's happening now, but th let me just walk you through it. So what collect will do is that collect will con collect all of the like basically. Let's actually go to the documentation here, so I can kind of show you what this is all about. So collect can take a, anything iterable and turn it into a, a relevant collection, which means that the compile like what I'm doing here is that. I'm converting my string to a, 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 like an iterable of characters. I reverse that and then I call collect, but I am specifying that I want to get back a vector of characters. And then down, down here, what I do is that I take the string vector or like the vector of characters here, I call into iter, which is kind of redundant if you think about it because it's already an, iter, an iterable. And then I call collect. And in the return type, I specify that I want back a string. but this entire line here is kind of excess, like it doesn't really fill a, any functionality. Like all I have to do is to do this and it will be the same thing without having all those extra steps. Because all I'm doing is that I'm converting my string to an iterable of characters. I reverse the iteration and then I collect it. And since collect is so universal that it can return me a string because a string is just a collection of characters, if you will and that makes my test work. Cool, so now I learned something just as I was filming this, great. And yeah, that's, that's basically me done with this test. I'll see you in the next video.